Mesa, Arizona It's one thing for the Cubs to sermonize and pontificate about some rediscovered sense of urgency as they have for nearly two weeks of spring training. It's another for a bunch of 20-somethings who already wear the most coveted ring in Major League history to turn a nice theory into something more than a bumper sticker slogan or t-shirt platitude. Maybe that's where they should have added a big-name veteran to the roster? Maybe that's where they did. Hamill's imparting wisdom to Anthony Rizzo. Obviously, a lot of them won early in their careers, said Cole Hamels, the four-time All-Star starter acquired in a July trade, and retained when the Cubs exercised his $20 million contract option. I was lucky enough to be able to do that, too, he said. So I think we relate a lot better, could that make him a secret weapon for the Cubs in understanding this whole urgency thing? Hamels, a first-round draft pick and touted prospect through the minors, reached the playoffs every year for the first five years of his big league career, winning a championship with the Phillies in his second full season. He and the Phillies reached the World Series the next year, too. He hasn't been back, and only after trades to Texas and then the Cubs did he experience the postseason again, and then losing quickly each time. Knowing the type of guys that they are, they have a lot of top picks that have really done well, getting through the system, he said. That's not an easy task because there's a lot of focus when you're that top pick, especially in a big city, a big market. They've been able to navigate it very well. So I admire what they've been able to accomplish so far, Cubs management wants more, expected more after Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant, Javi Baez, Addison Russell, Wilson Contreras, Kyle Schwarber and Albert Elmore all played key roles in navigating three rounds in October and November to win it all in 2016. Other than Rizzo, those core players have known nothing in their major league careers but playoff seasons. They also have known World Series, hangovers, and second-half hitting woes that left them short of the multiple championships once envisioned for them, at least so far. And a winter of budget restraints that left the front office without the ability to add a hitter has left some of the fan base bitter. Related please please, Cubs, find room for supersized pitcher Mike Zagurski Sports Media, Nick Gillespie's Cubs webcast voice of spring that's where Hamels believes he comes in. The left-hander had an almost identical career arc to many in the Cubs' core. But he's 35 now, with 2,553 innings of wisdom and nearly a decade of increasing appreciation for the championship heights he achieved so early in his career. The craziest part about when you win young is that I don't think you understand what you just accomplished, he said. Yeah, it's all great, and you've won ever since you were probably in Little League and high school and college and then you win in the big leagues. So it's just kind of a normal thing. When you don't win for a while, then I think you try to grasp the importance of what it really meant and how to actually go about trying to do it again, he added. So I think that was what was probably a good thing about how the season ended last year. The urgency thing isn't about working harder or focusing more, even management says that wasn't the problem last year. But fighting complacency after winning big, or feeling entitled to an annual playoff berth. It was really a good punch and kind of a check to a lot of guys in. Realizing how difficult this game can be, Hamill said of losing the division title to the Brewers and the wildcard game to the Rockies on back-to-back -back days at Wrigley Field. It's not taking things for granted and at the end of the day doing everything you possibly can to get everything out of yourself and out of your teammates to go out and win.